Hey guys, what is up? The Gaming Gadget here, and I'm going back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about DC Legends Season 3, Episode Number 9, which is their mid season finale, just as all the other shows have theirs this week. Now, to start off, I'd like to apologize if this video is late. I've been busy with a lot of schoolwork and projects that I've been working on. So I am sorry this video is late, but we are finally here and ready to start. Now, as we know, Professor Stein died during the crossover, and this theory I mentioned in my crossover video, but for those of you who didn't watch it, I'd like to mention it again. Now, as we know, in the crossover, there is this superhero that went by the name The Ray. Now, his powers were almost identical to Firestorm's, other than instead of fire, he shot these beams out of his hands, these rays. I mean, he could fly, he could shoot them out of his hands, even had stuff coming from out of his head. And the best part is, it was a one-man show. It didn't take two people to use these superpowers. Now, Captain Cold has joined the Legends for the time being. And what if after him staying for a while, the Ray gets lonely? Because as we know, the Captain Cold from Earth X and the Ray are dating. So what if the Ray comes to visit him because he gets lonely and finds out that Professor Stein has died? and that Jax is now powerless, and because of that, doesn't feel like he's part of the team anymore. So the team takes his meta-DNA and isolates it into a serum that they can give to Jax, so he can have those same powers. And therefore, Jax would become the Ray. Now, as we know, in this episode, Sarah got sucked into some void where she could hear Malice talking to her. Now, there is nothing around here except for just white everywhere, possibly maybe snow covering the ground. Now what if this place was the end of time? I mean, it would make sense seeing as Malice has risen, died, and reigned throughout all time. Therefore, he'd be alive during the end of time, and it'd be a great hideout for him to hide while his enemies search for him. And maybe upon some accident, Sarah somehow got summoned there. Anyway, so guys, Captain Cold is probably going to go back to Earth-X sometime soon, as we can tell by this tweet that we got a couple months ago. Allow me to read it to you. I'm currently shooting some of my final episodes as Captain Cold slash Leonard Star on the CW's Legends of Tomorrow and The Flash. Grateful, now and in advance, to a pair of talented cast and hardworking crews. Thank you. I've had a tremendous time playing this character. It's been an opportunity, an education, and a freaking blast. Even though he didn't use the word freaking. With love and respect, Wentworth Miller. Now that definitely sounds like he's leaving the show, but we don't know for sure. He could possibly come back if Barry goes back in time like he did in the season 3 finale, or if a Captain Cold from another Earth meets up with him again. That doesn't mean that he's gone for good, but it could be. The only sad news about this is that it means that we probably aren't going to have a season where the big bads are the rogues in the Flash. So, I mean, that would be really cool, and I mean, we still could have it, but it wouldn't be nearly as cool without Captain Cold. Anyway, so guys, in the next episode, we are going to be seeing Constantine as Sarah's old demonic spirit has gone into someone else. Or maybe possibly even Malice has gone into someone else. All Constantine says is that it knows Sarah's name, and I'm guessing Malice does too. But I think what he really means by it is that Sarah's old demonic spirit has gone into someone else. Anyway, so guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, and of course, Gadget on.